Tonight remains saddened over the death of one Tom Cutinella. The young man who played both sides of the football on offense and defense died last night at Huntington Hospital in Suffolk County. Bert Sempierre takes a closer look at this tragedy. A community is in shock after a high school football player's death last night during a game in Elwood, Long Island. Police say Tom Cutinella suffered a head injury on the field and was taken to Huntington Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Cutinella is the third high school football player in the country to die in the past week. Today, grief counselors are on hand at Shoreham Wading River High School and in Elwood where the accident occurred, residents voiced their reaction to the tragedy. Sad story, but you know, it, it's a very sad story. My heart goes out to him and his family and, and the team he plays with and even the other team because I'm sure it's traumatic on their part, but um, it's just a sad story. I think it's an awful thing, you know, to send a child out and to play a game and, and, and that's the last you see him. I mean, awful. We pray for, for these people, that, you know, who lose children. It's, it's just a terrible thing. Elwood area resident Henry Lynn says there's been an outpouring of support for Kutanella from the tight-knit community. There's a tremendous uh, heartfelt showing of, of sympathy for, for that child. Even though that event uh, was with a team out in uh, Wading River, the, the game was actually played here in, in Huntington, and the hospital where he died at was in Huntington. Uh, so everybody knows each other here, and word spreads really quickly. Last month, Time Magazine ran an article asking, with all the potential risks associated with football, is the game worth playing? Some parents have answered that question by not allowing their kids to participate in the sport, including Henry Lynn. My son actually plays travel baseball, and he likes football. However, the wife and I feel that football it can be really bad for, for, for injuries for a young child, especially when their bones are still growing. As a matter of fact, he just broke his leg playing baseball. So there you go. Even though he would like to play, we kind of say, you know, maybe you shouldn't play football because there's a lot of injuries. Tom Cutinella was in his first year as a member of the varsity football team and also played lacrosse. Cutinella was also involved with the Natural Helpers program, which focuses on peers helping peers. According to a study in the American Journal of Sports Medicine, an average of 12 high school and college football players will die each year. Reporting from Elwood, Long Island, Bert St. Pierre, WMBC News.